My greatest ability that I bring to the field is my arm talent first. Corral's gonna take a shot, And my IQ. And he's looking for another one. You know, just understanding defenses, understanding concepts of what we're trying to get done and being able to take completions and taking what the defense gives you. What makes me different is just, I really know what it means to lead and I really know what it means to care for a person. You good, bro? Okay. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Like, it's more than just football. You know, realizing that you can't do this alone and realizing that you need to bring people with you is one of the biggest factors of, you know, being a great quarterback and being a great leader. You never do it alone. Matt and I met his sophomore year of high school over an injury to his shoulder. My name is Dave Daglow. I'm uh, Matt Corral's trainer, his rehab, his throwing mechanics guy, but ultimately I'm like a, a brother slash mentor, family member. My training is unique because it, it, it's really a universal protocol that allows a person to tap into the biggest muscles of their body I think he understood it. I think that he looked at it as two separate things. There's the exercises you do to become strong and great, and then there's the exercises you do to, to, to rehab yourself and balance out your body. And when he realized that the exercises we're doing do both, it, then he realized there was no other way to work out. What me and Dave do differently is just that we focus on the bigger muscles doing the big work instead of little muscles doing the big work. Specifically in throwing, there's a lot of times where people's mechanics, you know, they think they're doing something right, but, you know, their shoulder gets sore or their forearm gets sore, their bicep gets sore, their hip. Just going through this whole process with Dave, like, he's the reason why I understand all this. Let's start with the foundation of every single exercise we're about to do. It's called force posture. So, so basically, we're going to turn on all of the big muscles of the body. It starts with the feet. So when you get your knees and feet straight, when you do that, you're gonna feel these muscles on the inside of your legs. That's, those are huge, huge muscles. Second cue is cheeks. Cheeks are gonna make your hips thrust forward. Now we're gonna pull the belly button back and then the obliques, which is the largest of the core muscles, pulls us up. The fourth cue is to pinch. So he's gonna rotate his arms in a socket until his shoulder blades pinch, right? And then the last piece is we gotta push the chin back. You'll see that a straight line forms. He's using his biggest muscles to leverage his body into a straight line with the one force that, that makes us age, and that's gravity. All right, so now we're gonna start adding movements, and movements is really where we try to focus on our workouts. So we're gonna add a lot of the football mechanics to this one. So he's gonna lean forward, and then he's gonna start to spin. The energy will go through his knee, he'll finish with his cheek, and then he'll just come to return. And he's gonna start to feel this cheek and adductor Spin the knee to target, spin the knee to target. And that means like where the knee spins to is where the ball will go. Dave's a guy that, you know, he's not only my trainer, he's my mentor. He's the reason why I know my body the way I know my body. And what we do ties into what I do on the field. The most proudest moments is me becoming the leader that I became and um, forming the relationships I did with this team. We love and cared about each other so much and that was just, that is hard to do with a team of 82 people. And then the next level, you got grown men, families, kids, and it's gonna be a little different just because, shoot, they've probably already been there, done that. But at the same time, where I'll benefit from it is just having that experience. And we did treat it like, we had this pro mindset about it that, you know, we were professionals already and we communicated with each other. We all knew what we wanted to get out of this process and we were always on the same page. And when we weren't, it got talked about and it got fixed. So we were. I mean, no days off means to be constantly working. You know, you got to get this done because it's your job. You know, some people might think like, oh, no, I could take a day off because, you know, I did this yesterday. But, you know, you've heard that saying, rent to do every day. and. That's something that I truly live by, but I don't need to constantly remind myself. I just feel like I have this specific regimen in my head to where, you know, I'm gonna find a way to fit it in there. And it's just as long as I do do it, I can, you know, lay my head down at night and not feel like guilt. <laughs> Cause that's what I do when I don't work. I feel, I don't feel right. 